right, guys, I guess we're on. Please pay no attention to this scoreboard. Uh, because we are at the final match now between Attila Bejdan and Oscar Dominguez. It's a uh, true, true double elimination, a double dip scenario where Attila is coming from the hot seat and Oscar Dominguez must win two individual races to take the finals. It's been an overall uh, exciting event. That last match between uh, Oscar and uh, Edg uh, Edgy was something else, huh? Tremendous match. It was good to see him battle back. But this cat here, Attila, is a different piece of work. He's going to have to do his thing, you know? Very nice safety. Why, why would Oscar have to beat this cat? No, why would this cat have to beat Oscar twice? It's the other way around. Oscar's got to beat Attila twice. Okay. It's okay. true double elimination. Okay, I, Attila's I, coming out of the hot seat. Right, I remember he had already knocked off Oscar. Yes, yeah, that was a good match too. So if he wins this match right here, it's over. Correct? That is correct. That's definitely not perfect pool, but no, uh, he's no. still rewarded. There are some. There is a pool, God. <laughs> nice jump. Hey, uh, yeah, Satilla goes to eight games too. By the way, this is a race to nine slash eight. Kenny Koo. Uh, I have to inform you of one thing. This is old box speaking to you. The Q doesn't have a rap on it. You got to put a rap on it. <laughs> this Catatilla is showing a lot of poise right now. Yeah, but I tell you what, he's playing like he's cold as ice because... Uh, He's rattling and he's not uh, really working with his cue ball. So right now, well, uh, he's going to have Oscar, to settle into this match. Oscar just came off a win, so yeah, this cat here has still got to dial itself in, but it shouldn't take him much longer. The mood in the room has changed a little bit too, and that can affect somebody's game. Well, the, the wagering has changed too. Yeah, yeah. doesn't seem like there's a lot of pressure right now in this particular match. I don't know why. Got to slide down between that 
long rail and short rail and get to that six ball. How's he going to do it? We're going to find out right now. He still got his work cut out for him. Natural angle, though, for him to come up. Wow, he puts... Uh, you know what? Now I see why he put the speed on the ball. Stop the so rock that, right at the seven ball and make the eight. Yeah, yeah. But look where the nine ball is. Yep. Yeah, his job is not done. This is not what Rolando calls an ABC. <laughs> I wonder why he slid the ball instead of firmly stopping the ball. I don't understand that shot. He drugged the ball instead of firmly stopping it. Hope that has nothing to do with his confidence. Nine ball looks frozen. He didn't call it froze. Acknowledgement from uh, Attila. One apiece. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, one apiece. For some reason, it doesn't seem to be 11 o'clock at night. It seems a little later to me. Seems a little early to me. <laughs> This is a race to eight, nine, yes. Uh, Attila gets one game on the wire. Attila goes to eight, Oscar to nine. Got an angle here. He might have to go around the table. That he did. Slide across and get the fireball. as quiet as I can, Cats, because I'm sitting right on top of the game, and I don't want to cause any interference with the game.
Okay, he's starting to hit him now. He's starting to look like, uh, you know, a player that wants to win. He's hitting them firm. Yeah, he is. He He's is. hitting them real firm. If he wins this, that'll end it. There won't be no double nothing. It's gone right here. No, no. Ball goes flying. Oscar's been having problems with that cue ball all day. All day. Table's pretty much wide open from here. Score is two to one. Martillo. Yeah, he's on amp. He's rolling. He's on amp. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not taking him very long to find his rhythm. No, he, he, he can taste it. He can taste the blood. He can taste the kill. Oh, he almost rolled too far. He's got to be careful because he's so pumped up he can't control it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's called adrenaline, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I do have to say, I have seen him, in, uh, I have not seen him play as good as I've been seeing him play today. Uh, you're about the fourth person that said that today. Yeah. Oh, he's hitting him. It's ironic, isn't it? Everybody was anticipating the arrival of Vilmos Folders. And he brought with him Attila Bezdan. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll know who he is from now on. <laughs> this is the Top Gun event. The final match of the Top Gun event of the Mez West A Tour. And we encourage you guys to go to Mez West A Tour dot com you can find out more about uh, next season which has yet to be announced but shall be announced hopefully within the coming week or so they're just keeping everybody on edge aren't they <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful cue ball in that. Look at the one go down, the three, the eight. He made three balls. Yeah, made three balls, and the uh, cue ball's perfect. Shot on the two ball. Just got to make this first shot. Natural angle to come two rails around for the four. Sometimes even me, I have to shut up and watch because I become more of a fan of the game watching it when you're playing like this at this level. Yeah. Table's rolling kind of fast, too.
He needs a little angle here because he's got to come to the opposite side of the seven. And uh, he has very little angle, actually. Seven ball goes in the side pocket. But he's got, he's got a dilemma. The nine and the ten. Well, the nine, I think, passes the ten ball to the corner. It I'm does. looking at it right it now. It does. But he's going to have to get nice and straight on it, you know, so that he can just roll it in. Not Okay, he's good. That's part one of his... Uh... He'll come off that rail and get it. Mm -hmm. Now that's what, he, that's what he didn't want, though. He didn't want any angle. Because you got to hit the... You know what? He could have just followed the ball and played the short side of the nine. That might have been actually a little easier. Well, he got it. He's all right. He got it. Sure. Couldn't have hit it better myself, my friend. Very nice out. Very nice out by this young man. Mm. What a display of pocketing balls. And uh, we hear Charlie Pinkett in the room say, let me out for 10. <laughs> uh, Oscar got to dial in this break a lot better. Oh, no. That's twice. Twice. Three times? I missed the third one, and I missed the first one. Today. Oh, to oh Today. <laughs> Three times today. Oh no, no, it's been more than three times today. Oh, hasn't been? Yeah, I've seen a, I've seen several. He's been getting excited on the break. This dude is study calculating. <laughs> I think we've been bamboozled. <laughs> I think he's better than Vilmos anyway as as we're watching. Oh, he's looking stronger. Yeah. And his pace is is uh, is quite impressive because uh, there's only a few people that I know of that can play this fast, you know, like Tony Drago, Earl Strickland. He's got to get that four ball come back around and get the five. He's got to come back around. That's right, right there. Jason Shaw shoots pretty fast too, yeah. So does Danny Basovich. Right now, standing center stage is this young man from Hungary. He's doing everything a good pool player should do, yeah, isn't he? Sitting there watching him, man, and this dude, man, is he's just doing everything right. Man. He's hitting the middle of the pocket every time. I mean, he's, he's like a Picasso painting the art, making a painting here, man. He's just He's in. He he is in the box. He's yeah. He's he, gone. He's yeah, still, he is. He is. He's gone. You know what? It's it's eleven o'clock, right? Oh no. He did all right. Look, is he, he gonna get? Right. He's gonna be okay. No, he's not gonna be okay.
Well, Oscar's got a jump shot. As I was going to say, it's 11 o'clock, you know. You see, this kid, I wouldn't this put kid it. is so amped up and so pumped up. He missed that ball because of adrenaline. He didn't miss the ball because he did get down on the right. He, he's trying to calm himself down now. Look how much water he's yeah, drinking in. Yeah. He's pumped. But I was going to say, win or lose, I wouldn't put it past uh, Oscar maybe to woof a little bet at him after this. Well, woofing is, woofing is what we've been hearing and seeing for the last two weeks. <laughs> We're tired of it. We want to see it happen, right? Come on, Oscar, get out the way. You know what? I agree with you, Box. I, I, I'm I'm becoming so surprised at how very little action that we actually see these days mm -hmm. in Southern California area. And look at the roll. I'm sorry, I got shape on that. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got good shape. I apologize. We still friends, aren't we? Silky, I can uh, see that you have been a long-time listener to the box. Looking with your feet is very important. Staying committed to the shot is very important. Uh, you get an A. You graduate. That's true. To the next level. That's right. You graduate. <laughs> but this kid here is hitting the ball so well with so much... Uh, how can I say it? He's hitting it with so much... Man, not force, but he's hitting it with um, firmness. He's real firm with the shot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I always say? You got to stay down and follow through. Stay committed if you don't shoot it. Score is five to one. Nine balls going. Right now, I don't like uh, what I see going on. I was paying too much attention to the crowd. I don't like that. Did you see that? The name of the game is pool. You got to play from everywhere on the table. This guy here is showing you how to get down. He's starting to remind me of uh, Fast Eddie Felsen in uh, The Hustler, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the best there is. Hey, uh, Daniel, can I ask you a question? Live on the air, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You think I need to lose some weight? You've been losing it. You didn't see the color of the money? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> think I need to lose some weight. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you run over to the store, get me a bottle of JTS Brown, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'd be anything in it by the time I got back. <laughs> <laughs> then you need to lose some weight. <laughs> You've been doing real good, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. You, you, you must have lost like 35 pounds, mm -hmm. 30, 40 pounds, right? I'm, I'm happy, friend. And, you, and I'm watching you play. Yeah. 
Okay, let's get back to this. In fact, when these cats came in Friday, they came over and gave me a compliment on the one pocket game. Him and his brother, or his cousin, mm -hmm. they was watching me play. This young man is about to become very popular. Hmm. <laughs> well, first of all, you can bet there's a lot of money on Oscar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't say it's going to be popular in here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that solid thing, huh? <laughs> Man, you guys kill me, man. Well, this is not going to last long. Here's the interesting thing. Nothing is distracting this, this guy. At all. Nothing is distracting him. Oscar concedes that game. He says, shit, ain't no sense in me trying to make him go any further. Score is 61. This cat here is playing real solid. More water. Man. But that's something he did do the last game he played against Oscar. He got, out of, he got a little heated up, you know? Yeah. There's nothing like pulling for an underdog, and he comes in way above it. The bad thing now is he's going to have to start giving up weight once he beats Oscar. These cats going to want weight. Mark, you are a very intelligent person. We didn't know that. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. In reference to JTS Brown. Uh, he's taking a look at Oscar. He's asking him a question. What do you think he's asking him? Can he double stack the bridge or, I mean... Mm -hmm. He's asking Oscar about if he, if he touches a ball or something props him. Oh, okay. But this kid don't play a bad game, and Oscar knows that he doesn't play a bad game himself. So if it just happens naturally, it's just okay. Look at this. I can't even believe, like, I mean, that's not a hard shot, but overextended like that to get that shape exactly where you need that ball to be. Now, that kid plays so well, he played himself out of his shoes. He's putting his <laughs> shoes back on. <laughs> He's in dead stroke, box. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, he's he's he's, he's on the same. This 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 cat here is in beans. But you know, you got to remember, when you're on top of the hill and you the man, you got to expect cats to play at you like this. You know what I mean? You can't, you know, when you're the man, that's what they're after. They're after the man. Everybody wants to beat the man. And when you're the man, you got to bring your A game. It's just puzzling, you know. He he threw his cue at a couple shots in the beginning of this this set, and he hasn't made a mistake since the f first or second game. That's right. Not one mistake. That's right. Not not really any positional errors, anything. 
And then there's that. <laughs> I know the whole audience is going to blame me for jinxing him. I'll tell you what. Oscar don't have a gimme right here. And this kid is studying going to stop making those kind of mistakes. Because see, right now, he's out the box. He's staying... He came over and said something to Oscar. Oscar had to capitalize on this. One of the cats that came in to see me over the weekend is in the chat room. He's bigger than me, but he's my partner, Juice Rock. What up with you? Thanks for stopping in to see him box. You know how to holler at me, Juice Rock. Stay in touch, son. Careful right here. This kid don't even care to ask a shoot. He don't even care. Did I tell you what uh, happened in the last match? No, you didn't. Edgy was up on uh, Oscar five to two. I heard. Yeah. And uh, Oscar just took a look at me. We weren't we weren't communicating or anything. He just took a look at me and said. I'm still gonna beat this guy. He hmm. came back from 5-2 and beat him. <clears throat> Something came over him. But uh, right now, we have a different match. Right now the score is 62. <clears throat> this kid goes to eight. Yeah, that's another thing too. Yeah, there's a one game spot too. And it's six to eight right now. I, th I think we've been bamboozled. <laughs> Oscar got a long run. I think the scores are going to be different next year, yeah. next season. Yeah, we've been bamboozled. This is this is nice. This kid gets another, if this kid gets another shot, he gonna end it. <coughs> he wins one more game, he gonna be so pumped up. He's calling the five ball. You got to stay down and follow through. Stay committed to the shot. Lost the thing. Yeah. That must be bipolar now because he's out thinking himself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He, he's just got to trust. Right. He's not trusting himself is what it is. He needs to get down and get it over with. Yeah. I mean, oh, well, he was... 
Maybe just thinking about a lot of different factors. That nine ball might have been one of them. You see how he brushed against the nine? Mm -hmm. he, might he might decide to play a, a, a safe right here. Cue ball behind the seven. Bring the four ball that, up here. That would be a good shot. He playing. Yeah, he playing. He's overrolled it. He don't mm -hmm. like this. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He Watch. did. That's not where he wanted to get at all. Watch. Well, he he's gonna do what he's gonna do now, but that's not what he wanted to do. See, now he's gonna play safe. The six ball got kind of out of line too. Yeah. Six ball was supposed to stay behind the eight all the way. This kid didn't have too many of uh, my uh, red bulls because he's drinking water. <laughs> he's dehydrated. Like <laughs> Score six to two. Attila six. Oscar two. Oscar's gonna deliver right here because for it to be a true elimination. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna twist this ball off the rail. He called it. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, it was on course too. All or nothing though, wasn't it? He's going to have to go two rails with the rock. He should have gone two rails with the rock. I think he's safe. No, he, he's not going to get there. He's, he's got to kick this one rail. <laughs> no, he's there. He's kicking it one rail. He's shooting too fast now. Hold on a second. Hold the phone. What a shot. Yeah. Mm. This kid is playing one for the one for it. He's out front. He's pumped up. He's talking to himself. He's shaking. Score is seventy two. Double true double elimination. True double and uh, Tiller's on the hill, basically. This is it. This well, is all or nothing. It better be all Oscar from here or uh it's done. I tell you what. I'm going to go home, put my feet up. Put on a. Whoa. Put on a double X, triple X movie. <laughs> 
which is a, uh, my sister loves to call my pool movies. Your what movies? Triple X's. Yeah. My sister loves to call them that, but they're really pool related. Mm-hmm. And she, because she said I'm always sitting in front of them. That that's your, that's your triple X. That's my triple right, X. Right, okay. Mm. Yeah, the good observation by uh, Jose91 in the chat room that uh, Oscar let out all of his aggression on that break. I forgot to mention, I'm a, when I get home, I'm eating me some Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a bowl of Tony. Are they great? <laughs> Are they just great? At 12, yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only, uh, it's only 11.35. Well, I need you cast to know it was a nice time, son. In the meantime, uh, y'all know where to find me. The Billiard Show. At Yahoo. Uh, the lights is getting ready to get cut out. The jello's juggling. The butter's getting hard. And we're going to see y'all the next time we do this. Yeah, yeah, well, we won't catch you with us uh, later on this month, but uh, POV Pool will be in Las Vegas, too. Ah, uh, now uh, that I have a vehicle. Oh, that's right. You got yourself a new Honda, huh? That's correct. Me and John plan on going. Oh, you're going to come to Vegas? To Vegas. Then it's on. The Andy Mercer. The it's, 25th annual Andy Mercer. be cracking. At the Rum Runner. In my truck, it cost me $100 to go there. Oh, my gosh. That, that big truck. Yeah, my so Honda. That, so that Honda Accord now? Oh, is, is it, man. Is, how's got, the leg room and all that? I got to give him a shout out. I got a warranty. Is it an EX thing. or an uh, LX or what is it? I forgot to ask the man. Yeah. <laughs> I just bought it. <laughs> but I love it so far. $40, fill it up. I run two weeks. Hey, man. I don't see Oscar getting up. No, Oscar's going to make him shoot this one. Last time he didn't. Oscar put on a valiant effort. Mez West Day Tour. Top Gun 2015. Attila Bezdan, a.k.a. Bezdan Attila, from Hungary, defeats Oscar Dominguez in one race, eight games to two. And that's it. That's all he she wrote for the first of season show. of the Mez West Day Tour. He put on a hell of a show, and not only did he put on a hell of a show, but you can bet one thing, he got to give up the weight now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to be a, I don't think the young man's going to be an eight any longer. That's right. Congratulations. All right. Oscar, thank you so much. This, uh, this has been a great tour. They just started paying off the wages over here. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's. Couple of dollars changing hands. All right, guys. Well, stick, stay tuned to mezwestatetour.com and uh, you'll be able to find out more information about next season. You can also pick up uh, merchandise, uh, polos, t-shirts, turtle racks, Zan tips, and hopefully uh, more to come. We want to thank uh, Oscar Dominguez, Desiree Rivera for uh, founding the uh, Mez West State Tour and also to thank our sponsors, Mez Q's, West State Billiards. It's been a great tour with these guys. Thank you. Also want to thank all of the host venues, California, well, I'm sorry, the uh, Family Billiards in San Francisco, Hard Times Billiards, Bellflower, La Mesa's On Cue Billiards, Arizona's Bull Shooters. Okay. 
Modesto's uh, Break Time Billiards, Diamond Billiards in Fresno, Billiard Palacade San Francisco, and Hard Times Billiards in Sacramento, and more venues soon to come. So just want to, I'm just flashing a bunch of logos in front of the screen. A lot going on right now. I'm being asked to take some pictures. And uh, we're truly grateful for to have you guys as an audience. Keep loving pool, everybody. And we'll see you at the next one. Check out mezwestatetour.com, povpool.com, fastandloosedesigns.com, goplaypool.com. And also check out all of our sponsors. You can find them also on all of our websites. So uh, don't go anywhere. The best is yet to come in 2015. I want you cats out there to know that Box appreciates you coming in. Can't wait to see you again. I'm gone. That's going to be it. So good night and keep loving pool from uh, myself, Geraldine Thibodeau, from Box, from uh, Jeff Cordy, and from Mike Meeker. We all love you and wish you the best. Thanks again.